So to get back to playing time in, in important situations, your linebackers this year, they got that last year. Just, what's the balancing act that like for, for that to, to happen? Yeah, uh, yeah, obviously start with that group. Uh, Peyton Wilson has played a lot of football, uh, as we all know. He's kind of the heartbeat of our defense right now. And then uh, three other guys really stepped up uh, during fall camp. Uh, two of those guys have played in the past. Jalen Scott has played a lot of football. Uh, Devin Betty has played a lot of football. And uh, Caden Fordham, you know, he's been a, a big, big piece of our special teams. And then he's also got game time. So those guys have all gotten experience. Uh, and it's their time now. We do with Isaiah and Drake, but it's time for somebody else to step up. And, you know, I feel really good about those, uh, those four guys right now. In game situations, do you plan on getting guys playing time in important situations so to take the starters out and get those guys to play? Yeah, you know, it depends on what the game, how it's going, and all that. We're, we're playing to win. I'm, you know, playing to keep people off the scoreboard. So, you know, obviously we're, we're worried about that first unit first and, and see who else earns the right to play. You know, the secondary and the growth there, but I want to ask about the defensive line, um, the depth that you have there. Obviously, three that you have as starters, guys that have been starters before, but all of the talent behind them, too, that's kind of pushing them with the transfers that you have in and some of the freshmen as well. Yeah, and uh, all my years of coaching in this defense, I think this is the best defensive line I've ever had. Uh, it's a full unit. We're deeper than we've ever been. Uh, we feel good about eight guys going in the game at any time. So uh, really, really like where they're at. Uh, love the leadership of that band, and CJ, and Sadie Vaughn, Mr. Bobby Price. You know, those guys have all played a lot of snaps. And then our new guys, Noah Potter, Brad Hibbler, and, uh, and then we've got uh, Brandon, uh, who's played a lot of football. So, you know, Isaiah Shirley's coming on, so we'll use him at times. Nate Cameron. So, you know, we, we've got a lot of guys right Yeah, secondary, uh, you know, the leadership of Shy and uh, Aiden White, you know, what that, I mean, anytime you, know, you got two returning corners and been three year starters, you know, I, I count on those guys to kind of lead back there. Uh, they, they played big games, made big plays. And then you go to Jakeen, and, you know, he started a lot of games as well, and Boykin. Uh, so, you know, I like where we're at. Got a lot of depth again, a lot more depth than we've ever had. You guys have Now that in the uh, secondary, Cecil Powell missed a lot of time with injury. First off, um, how's he been doing physically, and what are the sort of characteristics you see from him to kind of you know stay with the program and fight through that adversity? Yeah, he's uh, he's been a kid that played football in two years, so very proud of where he's at. Uh, he had a great fall camp, uh, getting back in the swing of things. And you know, Cecil's always a guy he loves to play football, and I'm glad that his body's allowing him to at this time. And you know, he's running really well. He, he's smart. He knows our scheme. So, you know, looking for some big things out of him. In a day and age of high-powered offenses, NC State's kind of known as a defensive school. I mean, it's got to make you proud, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, that, that's obviously we, you know, a win is a win. Any way we get, if it's 50 to 49, you know, that's great for the program, great for us. I won't be too happy, but, uh, but a win is a win. And, you know, that's our goal. Our number one goal is to go out and get a win, however we have to do it. And, uh, you know, I really like our offense right now, with Coach and I and his staff. Again, we take pride in keeping keep people you know, with less points on the board for us are better. So that's kind of the standard that we've set over the last few years. And, you know, we'll continue to do that. How much would you work over the years in terms of timing of the blitz? How much more blitz opportunities will they have with Greg Thomas not around? Yeah, it, you know, and a lot of that is built in our schemes on how we do it. Um, you know, and Peyton is a good blitzer. We, we obviously, as we install things, it's all about our timing and getting that down and practice reps. And, you know, we have to just keep repping things. And, you know, obviously, if you watch us, we bring it from everywhere. It's our Sam, our Will, our Mike, our corners, our safeties. And, you know, we like the blitz. So, you know, it just depends on whose number's called. We all have to time it up the right way. Where do you think UConn's going to test you? Uh, you know, UConn's a good football team. Uh, they got a lot of guys back. Uh, I just think that what they do that's unique is they, they get in a bunch of condensed formations, a lot of movement, uh, motions, trying to get your eyes bad, and they can run the football. Uh, you know, they, they have an effective run game. Uh, their O-line is very experienced, so, 
you know, I, I think they're going to try to try to run the ball and get us to play more guys in the box and then try to play action and throw it over. Is, is what I would think that they're going to do to us. Right before you walked up here, you kind of actually just named Joe Pagano the main transfer as their starting quarterback for next week's game. Just your thoughts on on him, what you've seen from the film so far from him? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we studied a bunch of film on on all three of the quarterbacks. There wasn't a whole lot on the uh, Penn State transfer. Uh, he only got to play 11 snaps to start the year a year ago. I uh, got hurt. Obviously, we played against 11 uh, last year uh, at our place. He played the whole game. And, you know, we have to study more main film and just kind of see how they're going to use him. And, and I know he's familiar with their offense. Uh, their, their old head coach, I think, has got the offense coordinator there. So, you know, but, but obviously, he's a smart guy. Obviously, it's going to be the first game is always the hard one, right? You don't know what, what to expect, so we're working a lot of different things. And, you know, we have to be able to adjust on the sideline and go out and play good defense throughout the game. What's that marriage between Coach and I's offense and your defense? How has that looked so far in fall camp? Or how are you two been together? Yeah, really good. Uh, Coach and I and I have worked together in the past. Uh, obviously, Coach against them. Uh, but, you know, I really like what they do with their scheme. Uh, they, they get you out in space a lot of different things, one-on-one -on -one work where you have to make tackles. Uh, again, a lot of movement. They, obviously, they're going to score points and do things. We have to shut people down and, you know, allow them to play. I'll know a lot more here in about a week or so how it's going to work. Do you find that that helps prepare your defense when you face offense in that respect? No doubt about it, yes. It, uh, we're getting some really, really good work. We don't get it. You know, feel like our kids are comfortable with, you know, with the movements and the shifts and trades. Going back to Cecil for a minute, he told me that there was a point in time last year when he was worried that he would never play football again. You know, in your role, like, and watching him go through everything, did you ever have that concern? Yeah, you know, obviously with the back injury, and uh, you know, you missed two years, and it was really felt like we went a long time and it wasn't getting any better. And uh, he fought through it, kept rehabbing, got strong, and you know, very proud that he stuck with it because a lot of guys would walk away. And just kept fighting the fight. You know, right now he's he's the best I've ever seen him. Uh, just engaged in what we're doing. And, you know, he's a big part of what we do and how we do it around there. So, and a guy with that much experience and been around the program for a few years, and it's good to get him back. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Good